If you love PC modding and great aesthetics, then the motherboard armor will do a great job on your PC build. With motherboard armor, you can make almost any motherboard and PC looks different and unique. Hey, what is up guys, I'm Andrew and in this video I'm going to show you how to make motherboard armor or also known as motherboard shield. In this video I'm going to make armor for this older motherboard, which actually doesn't have 3D mount. I mean this motherboard is not made to support some additional parts like the motherboard armor. And the armor I'm going to make it basically from junk. This thin metal panel I take out from an old and broken desktop monitor. However, the motherboard armor you can make it from some other thin metal panel or you can use some thin acrylic panel, or even you can make it with some other materials or plastic. But it's highly recommended to use some thin material. Thick materials are not recommended because of thermals. Thick material may rise the motherboard temperature, which is not really good for the system. So, let's start with making the motherboard armor. The first, what I will do is making the template. This is one one template from the motherboard and with this template it will be easier to mark where I need to cut and make all in right dimensions. First, using ruler I will take the motherboard dimensions. Now, after I took the motherboard dimensions let's move on Adobe Photoshop. In Photoshop I will going to create a new layer in millimeters with motherboard dimensions. Now I will going to download high resolution top view image from this motherboard. And I will going to place this image over the layer with motherboard dimensions. Ok, now I will going to add some effects. I will going to add invert effect and I will add black and white effect. Actually I done this because now all components are clear visible. Ok, I will going to save this now and I will save us PNG image. Now in Photoshop I will create a new A3 layer. I must go with A3 layer because simply the A4 layer is too small and it cannot fit the motherboard template. On the A3 layer I will going to place the motherboard template and I will save the image as PNG again. Actually I'm using PNG because it's more quality than JPEG and with PNG I won't lose any detail on the template. And basically this is all about how I made the motherboard template. And before I continue with something, I mean modifications, first I place the motherboard on the template to check the dimensions again. Now it's time to mark the motherboard armor. To copy this motherboard template, or I mean to mark where I need to cut, I will going to use stencil paper. Over the metal panel, First I will place the stencil paper. Then using tape I will carefully stick the stencil paper on the edges 
and I will make it perfectly flat. Ok, now over the stencil paper I will going to stick the motherboard template. Now using ruler and pen I will mark where I need to cut. I mean I will mark the PCI ports, RAM slots, CPU socket and all others. Using stencil paper is a very old but very useful technique to copy something on some material. Actually I'm using a lot of these old school techniques. In this case I can easy mark where I need to cut and I can do it with high precision. After I mark all places where I need to cut I will going to remove the template and the stencil paper. Well, everything is looking good now and let's move on cutting. To cut the motherboard armor I will going to use Dremel tool. The Dremel is a small tool but it's great for making some stuff like this. Cutting the armor is going very slow with Dremel tool but the cuts are very clean and quality. After I finish with Dremel tool, I mean with cutting, I will going to use sandpaper to make the edges less sharp and make all in details. And basically this is how the motherboard armor is looking. But now I need to make a few more modifications. This longer part on the armor is to cover the I.O. I mean to cover the audio inputs, the USB ports and all others. And these small parts which are popping out from the armor are the 3D mount. First I fold down these small parts and I drill small holes and now to place the motherboard screws. This mount is 10 mm high because to make space between the motherboard and the armor. Uh, actually in this case the same screws will hold the armor and the motherboard. Ok, now let's move on the I.O. The back side of the I.O. is open and I have to do something to cover it. I mean to close it. To close the I.O. I will use a very thin but hard cardboard. And this cardboard I stick it from the inside of the armor because of better aesthetics. Now let's make the final modifications. Over the entire armor and from the both sides I will going to stick black made carbon. This carbon vinyl is not power conductive. Actually this vinyl will isolate the metal armor. And the risk from shocking the motherboard basically is zero. And this is how the simple motherboard armor is looking after all modifications. However, 
If you're going to make something like this, you can use some other or different vinyl and in different colors. You can make something different and something unique. Well, this is all about how I make this simple motherboard armor. The motherboard armor actually will not increase the performance or something, but will make your PC build looks different. Also I done a lot of tests, including the temperature test, and everything is working normal, I mean no issues and the temperature is same like before. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give fresh ideas and inspiration. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.